Welcome to Sunday. Uh, yeah, I haven't put up a video for a little while. I've had content. It's just the editing. I haven't been able to really do much. I haven't had a lot, I guess, of oomph in me to do the editing. Um, I don't have very good editing software. I don't know how to do it very well. I got a, downloaded a thumbnail app and I have no clue how to use it. So, unfortunately, it's still is going to be what it is. And, uh, but anyway, I, let's see, it is after, it is 11 o'clock actually. Sorry, my kitchen's mess. Don't look at it. Um, it is 11 a.m. I am about to go take a shower because I am, well, for one, I need a shower. I mean, hello. But, uh, I am freezing. That's why my nose is red. I'm cold. It is running. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I need to go take a shower and relax a little bit. So it's just kind of a relax and hang out kind of a day for me. My husband's at work. It's just a day alone. My kids are at their dad's. Um, I've had a 64 ounce jar of water. 64? Yeah, 64 ounce jar of water to get me started for. No, I lied. 32 ounce jar of water to get me started for the day and my water. And, um,. It's mostly gone. I added some Mio, the orchard apple with the B vitamins and a um, little bit of apple cider vinegar because, a, okay, a little TMI alert here for anybody who doesn't want to listen, skip ahead. Uh, I haven't really used the restroom, you know, I haven't had a number two in a couple days, a few days. Um, not anything significant, so I wanted to see if I could get the ball rolling, if you will. Um, but, so that's why I had the apple cider vinegar, because it just kind of tears my stomach up, so <laughs> hopefully that'll help. But, um, yeah, I'll probably, after my shower, go over my how my week has been a little bit. Um, I'm going to go get, like I said, get showered, get comfy. I do have to do my nails today. They are starting to wear down and get all lifty and stuff. The stuff I've been using from um, Sally Beauty Supply because I'm not licensed anymore so I can't get the good stuff very easily. Um, I don't like it. It lifts so easy. It's called no ni no no nifts. No lifts nails but I tell you what they lift. When I was using my creative nail the retention liquid never had a problem with lifting not much anyway so yeah so unfortunately that's what I have and uh, that's got to be done today so I will talk to y'all after my shower when I'm gonna be eating something um, I've got it planned out today when I'm gonna eat I'll go over the card manager as soon as I'm done with my shower with you wait not shower with you as soon as I'm done with my shower I'll go over my card manager app with you I need more bang. Hey guys. So yeah, it's a little different angle today. Uh, <laughs> the sunshine through the tree is blinding me where I normally film. So yeah, I need to find me a tripod and a better camera. That'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, so we all know I'm poor. So there's that. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, I just got done with my shower a little bit ago. Um, finally warm and comfy. I'm about to shut off the the pellet stove um, for now at least because uh, I'm plenty warm now. There we go. It's a little better. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I am about to make myself... What time is it? 12.37. I'm about to make myself a breakfast Sammy for my fast breaking meal um, 
I'll probably see if I can hold off a little bit longer. I'm not super hungry though. Um, at least not yet. So there's that. I'm just kind of nursing my bang. And so, and I've already had 32 ounces of water and yeah, so that's pretty much my production for today. But I'm okay with that. I'm taking a relax, keep her calm kind of a day. Um, other than having to work on my nails later, which I don't like doing the acrylic part of it. I love doing the nail art. I am a nail artist and uh, yeah, so I just, I'm not a nail tech anymore, but, and seeing that I have to do a fill today and it is, I kind of don't want to take the little candy corns off, they're so cute. My favorite one is the one right here. This one? Yeah, right there. So it's got his hands on his hips and tapping his little foot. Yeah, he's my favorite. But, uh, so I gotta figure out something else. And I haven't done any looking at what I want to put on him next. But, there'll probably be some black with eyeballs or something, you know, glow in the dark, spooky season stuff. But, um, I... Since I'm not a licensed nail tech anymore, I have to use whatever I can find at Sally Beauty Supply. If I can't find anything like on eBay or whatever that is creative nail, because that's what I used to use all the time. I usually use, if I can find it, is the retention from creative nail. That is the best stuff I have found. No lifting for me. Um, nails lift really easily on me. And this stuff is called, from Sally's, is called no lift nails but they are very lifty nails um yeah for the past like month i've had a horrible time with them and uh so i don't know what's going on but it is whoa that was almost bad it is what it is so yeah i gotta work on those and figure out what i'm gonna put on them and then i'll show y'all if you care um, yeah, so I am kind of nursing a pinched nerve. I woke up at about 4.15 in the morning today and I was in so much pain. Like I went to bed not feeling well. I mean, not, I felt okay, like, you know, sick wise, but like a pinched nerve, um, you know, like when you can't, oh, hey, I can turn, oh, no, not that way, but you can turn your head and it's like. Oh, hey, just kidding. Here's some pain all the way down your back and neck and shoulder blades and whatnot. So, I, I've had a problem with that last night. And it, I mean, to where it woke me up, I mean, like, I was in tears. My husband got up and got me some ibuprofen and water. And um, I took three ibuprofen. And uh, it's taken the edge off. So, I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did. Like, I was not super productive yesterday either, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> but it is feeling a little bit better, so I can at least function. I can get out of bed. You know, I can get up and do stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, dinner. I believe I am planning to, and I'll see if I can insert um, after this uh, section here, insert what I might be making for food for dinner. Um, it is going to be mini tacos or the, the person cheeses the new bread is the person that posted them on Instagram and they look really tasty and they're actually, she calls them micro tacos, um, but it's just mini tacos and made with a cheese shell and meat. That's all it is. Like the kind of like mini tacos you'd get like at the bar or whatever. And, um, so yeah, we get those and just stick some meat in there and whatever seasoning is the meat that you want. And then I'm going to probably dip those in some sour cream, have them with lettuce. So that's going to be dinner for my husband and I tonight. Um, excuse me. Every single time I make a video, I've got a belch or hiccup or something. I apologize. That's me apparently. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be having for dinner tonight and uh, then I'm gonna have a couple of peanut butter cookies throughout the day like one probably after lunch and then one after dinner and uh, those are ones that I made um, yesterday and it was just a cup of peanut butter half a cup of swerve 
I use the confectioners because it blends easier and you don't get like the chunks. That, I don't know. I just I don't like the texture of the regular stuff. But so I use the confectioner swerve. So that was half a cup, um, and then two eggs, a little bit of baking uh, powder, a pinch of pink Himalayan salt, and to help kind of give them some rise and substance with it. And then. Um, uh, I think it was half a cup of almond flour and normally I don't add that much almond flour I might add a couple tablespoons and but then they're really dry well I don't know it's you know I just bake them at 350 for up to 15 minutes and um, you know they turn out but they they taste all right these ones they tasted good like I'm not gonna not eat them <laughs> but because uh, let's face it this girl didn't get like this by being super picky anyway I will be yeah still eating those um, but they're more like with as much almond flour and egg that's in there it kind of takes away a lot of the sweetness and it takes away a lot of the peanut butter flavor. It's not overly peanut buttery anymore. It's in the, you know, it's like a cross between a shortbread and a peanut butter cookie, which is still good, but it's not, you know, when I want a peanut butter cookie, it's gotta be peanut buttery and sweet. So, um, you know, and it's, that's the same amount of sweetener that I would use if I didn't use the almond flour and the extra egg. So, I think maybe next time I'll, I mean, I do like the texture of these. They don't fall apart real easy. They're not super dry and crumbly and almost like, like melt away in your mouth kind of. So, no, these are, I mean, it's, it's more like a real cookie, so it stays together better, but, um, I'll probably add a little bit extra sweetener next time and, uh, or even add some of the Lakanto Golden. That might be good. Add a little, like, quarter cup of that or something in there. I don't know. But, um, so I need to do something else to make it a little bit sweeter. And then I might add, like, a tablespoon or two of, like, PB Fit or PB2. I don't know. I mean, it will change the macros on them. And I'm aware of that. And I'm okay with that. I don't sit there and just eat them all day. So, um... I may do that, just some experimenting, or I may just go back to how I had it and, you know, the texture is what it is. It wasn't a horrible texture, and I loved the flavor, so I don't know. I'll have to see what I'm going to do. But, so that was my PB, or peanut butter cookie thing yesterday. But, um, this past week, I finally got under 200. I have been waiting for Wonderland and never thought I would get back there, if ever, honestly. Um, but I finally made it, and I got down to 199.5, so 25 pounds total lost, well 25.1, but who's counting right? I am. But um, And then after that, ooh, I'm going to have to turn that pillow stove off, Whew, hold on. All right, whoo! Your girl was freezing before the shower, now girl's pitting out. Okay. Anyway, um, let's see if I can get back on this chair because I'm short. But uh, yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, got down to 25 pounds lost, 25.1. And uh, then I went back up. Uh, there's been a few days, okay, with the whole TMI earlier, you know, a few days of not eliminating quite as well as I normally do, um, it put me back up just over 200, um, and, you know, it, it keeps rising the more, you know, the weight keeps rising more every day because, you know, I'm not eliminating, but I'm still intaking every day, so... I uh, took some apple cider vinegar in my water and started kind of getting things going a little bit, sorry, <laughs> but um, not where it should be. So we'll have to see when progress continues because I know it's not like true weight gain because it is not, my caloric intake does not um, 
warrant for that. I take in between 1100 to 1300 calories every day. I don't cheat above that. I don't eat anything that's not keto friendly. Um, I post all my foods on Instagram and, uh, seriously, I kind of want to chop this off. Like what is happening? Why does it do that? They don't grow anymore. They don't do it. See, that would be so much nicer. Oh, well, whatever. It's going to come back down anyway. Yep. There it is. So, and my fats are at 95 grams. This is all, you know, predetermined for me on the carb manager app. Um, and I might need to go back on there and do some adjusting, but I'm gonna wait until after things get rolling again and uh, see what happens. Because there's, you know, like I said, there's no true weight weight. <laughs> there's no true weight gain because I'm not eating the calories to warrant that. Um, I'm not eating the types of foods to warrant that. Um, I have. My goals for um, from Carb Manager are 95 grams of fats and 77 grams of protein and 16 grams of net carbs. I do not go over any of those. Um, I occasionally maybe go maybe five grams over on my fats um, or one or two grams over on proteins. I am always under on my carbs. Um, I never even hit the 16 grams and to keep you in ketosis is 20 grams or less. So not sure, you know, it, it, I'm pretty sure actually that it should be from the elimination issue. So hopefully things will start moving again here soon and uh, the scale will start moving again too. But um, I did on, uh, I was tagged on Instagram for uh, Parker Parker Pastures grass fed and they are in Colorado and are a grass fed ranch um, and I guess they're trying to kind of get up and running for at least you know their account on Instagram or whatever get noticed for larger than just their area but um, they are actually having a deal right now as long as you know it's in stock for their stock to last um, that they are doing sampler boxes you just uh, go onto their Instagram and they have like a website you can go and, um, and uh, sign up with them for a couple of I say a couple because I got a couple of these sampler boxes and the sampler boxes are I think $29.95 or $30 value um, and all you do is you pay shipping and it's like $6.95 I think for shipping per box and so I did or $6.50 something like that it was about $13, $14 for shipping for my two sampler boxes that I ordered and um, so I mean that's you know should be $60 worth of beef for 14 bucks max and I am super excited when it does come in I'll do an unboxing I'll do a review I'll be making some I'll make something with the beef and uh, kind of show you what's in the packages and how much came because I'm not really sure I mean it says sampler boxes but I'm assuming if it's $30 worth of beef it you know it's gonna be decent amount you know at least a few pounds I would hope so we'll see uh, what they send and I'll let you guys know and then that way if you want to order through them um, even if you're not able to get the sampler boxes you can still order through them so um, I'm gonna be checking that out I'm kind of excited adulting means being excited for mail order beef I guess right I don't know but I'm really excited so uh, let's see yeah that's pretty much that and then uh, we did start because we go through so much especially ground beef and we really like the convenience of like the pre-frozen burger patties so we went to Walmart and uh, 
because you can actually get a better deal at Walmart than even with a discount, you know, my husband's discount where he works. So unfortunately, we have to go where the budget allows and um, for certain things. And so we went to Walmart and got a big old box of 32 uh, beef patties. It's the 75-25. So 25% fat, 75% lean. Yeah, that's how that goes. Um, got a box of those for 20 bucks. So that was a pretty good deal. It's, like I said, it's better than where my husband goes for the amount that we can get. And, um, yeah, so those, we had a couple of those, uh, night before last and those were pretty good. Actually, they were really good. I was surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised because it's not like this. I don't know. I know it's not grass fed. I am dirty keto. I am not able to afford the top notch of everything so on my channel what you get is what you get on my instagram you what you get is what you get and uh if you don't like it i'm sorry that's what i can afford <laughs> unless you want to buy me some but uh <laughs> just kidding kind of not kidding not anyway i'm going to continue nursing my bang i'm going to have to get some laundry done and uh figure out, well not figure out, but get to making my breakfast. I already do have for my breakfast sandwich real quick. I do, um, make the 92nd, the keto 92nd mug bread or whatever it is. And, um, so I make that and cut it in half and then I use each half cut in half again as the bun. So I only use half of the 92nd bread at a time because it's so high in fat and calories and everything. And I'm trying to fill myself up. So I also need to get the protein in and stuff. So that's why I have half a one and it works really well for a breakfast sandwich with like, I've been putting two to three eggs and two slices of cheese in between, you know, the two slices of one half, if that makes any sense, um, for a breakfast sandwich. And it's super filling. It's super good. And yeah, cause I have no problem getting my fats in. So I, that's why I'm tracking on the carb manager app is because I need to keep that in check. So I'm actually losing body fat and not losing the fat I'm intaking instead because my carbs are low enough that I know I'm burning fat but I want it to be my fat. So yeah, I will uh, get this going. This is gonna be a really long video. I'm really sorry, but I'll show you what I have when I have it. And I'll try not to ramble on too much more today, but no guarantees. See you then. All right, guys. I'm showing you a little bit of what I can of me making my breakfast sandwich. So I get my face out of there and my belly out of there if possible. But I just make a fried egg, actually two fried eggs, and just let them kind of do their thing. I did put red pepper flakes and a little bit of pepper and salt. I do have on one half of the 90 second bread, one slice of cheese and a little bit of the, the stuff here, the jalapeno sauce stuff that doesn't cost any calories or anything like that. It's just delicious sauce. And then put half the egg down, another cheese, Another half of the egg. And put a little bit more jalapeno stuff because y'all jalapeno, yum yum. And there you go. So that is it. McDonald's ain't got nothing on my breakfast, Sammy. I mean, look at that. For real. You're not going to get two eggs and two slices of cheese not. 
come to Mimi's house if you want to eat some good stuff, right? That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, there it is. Breakfast Sammy. I'm going to go ahead and eat this and call it good. All right, y'all, am I the only one that, like, looks for the biggest cookie in the batch? <laughs> and every time I take one, I look for the biggest one. I can't be the only one, right? Oh, well, I'll wear the crown if it takes. Hey, guys, I'm getting some stuff to room temperature. Just wait to see what I make. All right, and for what I'm making, it does call for a cup and a half of erythritol or a sugar substitute. And um, so I kind of got mine ready ahead of time. The stuff isn't, I mean, it's still not um, room temperature ready to go yet. So it'll be a little while. Um, I'll probably do my nails first and then get on to this. But um, I didn't have, you know, one and a half cups of any particular um, low carb sweetener. So I used kind of a combination of what I do have in the house currently, um, because I can't afford to go out and get more just yet. So I used about a cup of the Swerve Confectioners, and that's what I had the most of. And then I used one quarter cup of Swerve Granulated and one quarter cup of Lakanto Gold or golden, I guess. Um, so I kind of mixed those all together. So those are ready to go for when it's time for the sweeteners to be added. Whoa, let's not get rid of this golden stuff here. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have ready. And I hope this turns out. Well, it's a sad day. Um, I can't make the <laughs> mini tacos because the cheese is still frozen and uh, I need more than what I have in my fridge right now to make the mini tacos. So we're going to be having taco salads tonight instead with the meat to get it used up. And this will have to go for another evening.